Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this rainbow cut crease look. A few other YouTubers say Holly Boom did one. But if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to set my lid using just a white shade from the 35B. And then I'm just going to go in with the yellow shade from the same palette just to start off the rainbow. I'm just using like a tiny brush to keep the blend really, really precise. And just in the place where I want it. And I'm going to use a fluffier brush just now to blend out a little bit more. And then I'm taking the orange from the same palette, just adding on just after where I've finished the yellow, like where I've still blended it, but I'm adding to it just to create the next colour in the rainbow. I'm using the same brush to apply it and then using the fluffier brush to blend it out. Then going in with the 350, I'm using an orange from that palette because the oranges in that palette are just a lot better. And again, just applying it and then blending it, taking my time. Then going back in with the 350, I'm using that red shade. Again, applying it with the same brush to the specific area and then blending it out with like a tiny fluffy brush. And then I'm mixing these two shades from the 35B to create like a dark, deep, purpley, bluey colour. I made a bit of a mistake, so I'm going in with the Revolution Concealer, which is amazing. Just to correct it, I get mine in the shade C5, if anyone was wondering. Don't panic if you make a mistake like that, because you can easily clean it up. And then go over it with the same powder you used to set your eyeshadow. And then just blend again, and you'll be absolutely fine. I just got a bit excited and blended too high. And then using the same concealer, I'm carving out my crease. And the best way to do this is just to put the concealer on your eyelid and then look up and then it will transfer to where you need to draw the rest of the crease in. I left this in real time so you could see how long and how like much time I take on it. It's not difficult but if you go fast you're more likely to mess up and I'm just using like a flat concealer brush for it. It's tiny but it's so much easier to do with a tiny brush and then I'm just patting it in and then once I've done that I'm going to set it with the white shade that I used to set my eyeshadow earlier from the 35B palette. Then I'm going in with the green in the inner corners and then the pink and the red mixed together in like the centre lower lash line. Looking back I'm not sure how I feel about the green but you know. And now I'm using my own style of lashes in the Georgia lash and then I am just doing my liner. I've left this like super slow so that you can see how careful I am with it. But this eyeliner literally changed my life, it's so good, it's the NYX matte one. I think it's like six pounds and before I had this I could not do winged eyeliner and for anyone wondering the lashes that I showed were my own brand they're Cares Lashes you can find them on my Instagram page which is just Cares Lashes and the lashes that I just showed are the Georgia style I'm just adding some mascara, pretty sure I use a Maybelline Great Lash just to like add some colour to them before I put lashes on. And honestly these lashes are so easy to apply. If you leave the glue to go tacky and then do it, they're literally the quickest thing. Just adding that liner on top where the glue might have taken away. 
this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to have a look at my lash page on Instagram, which is just at Kara's Lashes. These are the Georgia style lash and they are available on my Depop. Please don't forget to subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.